Hello and welcome to Specflow's step-by-step -step getting started guide. In this video, we will be looking at the knowledge and tools you must have prior to starting this guide. And then we will be looking at how to install Specflow's Visual Studio extension. Before you start with Specflow, you need to be familiar with behavior-driven development. If you don't have any knowledge in this topic, I highly recommend you to check out the Getting Started with Behavior-Driven Development guide we have put together for you. You can find the link in the description below. Now let's look at the application you must have installed on your machine before starting this guide. In this guide, we will be using the Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. If you have the 2017 version, that is also supported, but any older version would need to be upgraded. You can find the link to the latest version of Visual Studio in the description below. Note that you only need the community version of Visual Studio, which is free of charge. Lastly, before you start this guide, you must have a basic knowledge of c -sharp as it is the programming language we will be using throughout this guide. If you tick all the prerequisites I just mentioned, then you're ready to start. Okay, let's jump right into it. Open up Microsoft Visual Studio. Click on Continue with that code. And navigate to Extensions, and then Manage Extensions. From there, under the Online tab in the search bar, Look for SpecFlow. Click on Download. Visual Studio will ask you to close the application so you can finish installing. Click Close. And the extension installer will then open up. Click on Modify and wait for the installation to complete. This should only take a few seconds. Hit close and you finish installing. And finally, open up Visual Studio again. Navigate back to Extensions, Manage Extensions. But this time, look under the Install tab. Here you will see a list of all the extensions installed on your Visual Studio. Specflow should be the top one as it's the most recent one. Hit close and now you're ready to start making your first Specflow project. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.